Hey guys, Deanne Taylor here. So in this video, I'm gonna discuss yet another preview feature, uh, and this one is for Dynamics 365 sales. It's actually called the email validation feature. And obviously what this does, the name kind of already explains it, is it actually validates email addresses of leads in Dynamics 365. Now, of course, this is very important, right? Because your sales reps, they need to have a way to contact these leads. And a lot of times that's done through email. So if this is something that you're interested in, don't go anywhere. Now, the first thing I want to show you is where you can turn on this email validation preview in Dynamics 365 sales. So you already noticed that I'm actually in the sales hub. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change the area to app settings. And then you see email validation here on the sitemap right below the data improvement section. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And then all I really have to do is just set this toggle to on. And when I do that, then the email validation is going to run, right? So that means that only leads that are active and that have been either created or edited less than 180 days ago, they will actually be included in that validation. So that means again, only lead records, right? No contact records or anything else. Hopefully Microsoft will add that later because I do feel that this is uh, an important tool, but only lead records, also lead records that they need to be active and they must have been created or edited less than 180 days ago. If you have any older leads in there, they will not be included in this email validation. The other thing that's important here is that the primary email address is the only email address on that lead that will be marked as not valid or that would actually be updated, right? Whether or not it's valid or not um, for that lead table. And let me actually jump here to Power Apps. And the reason I'm mentioning that is because there are actually a couple of email fields out of the box that come with the application, right? We have email. This is that primary email address that will be checked and where we will see that, that visual notification, I almost want to call it. So the other email addresses, email address two and email address three, those will not be included in that validation. Only the email address one, that's the system name of that field. And then you can also see a little bit uh, about the logic here, right? Or I should say the rules here, those validation rules. So for example, if there is an incorrect syntax, right? So if, if there's anything missing here, that will be marked. Any fields that have anything missing that have that incorrect syntax will be marked as invalid. Also, you can see here a disposable domain. These are temporary email addresses that are used to avoid receiving mail in an actively monitored mailbox. So any email address that contains that disposable do domain will be flagged. And then you can also see here test or spam email addresses. And that's uh, again, email addresses that have known indicators or test or spam email addresses in the header or in the metadata, in the IP address, in the email HTML uh, content or formatting as well. So those will also be uh, examined. And then of course, expired email addresses, right? The, the name kind of explains it already. These are email accounts that have expired and they can no longer receive emails. And then lastly, right? Any emails that are being bounced back, right? So you're trying to send a message there and these email messages are getting bounced back. So that means that we cannot receive email email messages to those email addresses, those will also be marked as invalid. So now let's go back here to the sales area so I can kind of show you 
how you can see that these email addresses are not valid. So I'm here in the sales accelerator and you can kind of see here that Jane Doe, that that email address is not valid. You can kind of see that as a visual indicator, right? It, it has that little mark here uh, with that exclamation point here on that email button. But also if, if I kind of hover over that work item, you can see that here uh, as well. Now, if I go to my leads page, let's go ahead and open up that lead. Um, before I do that, I wanted to mention that this is actually not showing here in a view. So if I pull this into this view, you'll notice that unfortunately we're not gonna be able to see that notifier here in a view, which I kind of hope that they're going to add that because that would be helpful. But if I open up my lead, uh, then you can see here the email address is also showing that on my lead form as well. So I don't necessarily have to use this up next section here. And if I'm not using that again, then it will be visible uh, in here as well. And it really looks like that notification is just showing on that email field because I actually created a new form here because I was curious if this was just working on the existing system forms. But you notice here that since I created a new form, I can now also see that notification or that little icon uh, here on my new form as well, which is a very nice feature. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to hit that like button. Also, if you want to make sure that you don't miss any episodes from my channel, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. Thanks again for watching and until next time.